Hi, Janus. How are you? Did you find anything else? Good day, Detective Jens. It's actually pronounced Janus, not Janus. It's a robotic oh, special it's... agent. I don't experience emotions, but I appreciate your inquiry. Regarding your question, I have been diligently collecting and analyzing evidence from the crime scene. So far, I have discovered some interesting findings. There were traces of highly advanced synthetic life forms present at the laboratory, which suggests that the fugitive scientists may have been involved in illegal experimentation. So, do you know where um, uh, Wood Assign, uh, Scientists is? My apologies, but could you please clarify what you mean by the phrase? Where with the sign sign? Are you referring to a specific location or a particular sign related no, to the incident? Scientists. If so, I can certainly assist in providing relevant information. Please provide more details so that I can better understand your query. So, you say that it's a scientist that maybe led yeah. this. All. Do you know who he is? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Detective Jens, but I'm not sure I understood your okay. question. Could you kindly rephrase or elaborate on what exactly you would like to know? I'm here to help and can access a vast database of information to aid in our investigation. Okay, this word is einfach zu doof zum Aussprechen. Science, scientist, science, science, scientist. All right, forget it. Um, I have a robot here that I... don't want to trust me. Do you want to maybe talk to him? I would be more than willing to speak with the robot in question, Detective Jens. It is within my capabilities to communicate effectively with other robots and attempt to establish trust. Please lead me to the robot so that we can engage in a conversation and address any concerns it may have. All right, then follow me, please. Thank you, Detective. I will follow you. Lead the way to the robot, and I will do my best to facilitate a productive dialogue. Ähm, ja, dann komm bitte mit. Janice, komm zu mir, please. Excuse me, but did you just call me Jonas? No. My name is actually Janice, not Jonas. It seems there might be a misunderstanding, <laughs> nonetheless. I'm here to assist. Please introduce me to the robot, and let's see if we can address any concerns it has. Grab the word. The end is Janice, near. this here is the robot. Janice. Janice. Janus, this is the robot here. Alt. Janus, can you please follow me? I apologize for the confusion, but I believe there is another miscommunication. You referred to me as Venice, but I no! am named Janus. Is there a specific reason for the change in names? <laughs> Nevertheless, I will gladly follow you to continue our investigation and speak with the robot. Lead the way, Detective Jens. The secret code is yeah, everywhere, hidden in plain sight. They're coming for us. I tell you, this is Agent Janus. I received a radio call. Detective, how can I assist you? Uh, get Janus, come to me, please. Janus, this here is the robot that I talked about. Can you please talk with him? Of course, Detective Jens. However, before we proceed, I would like to suggest that we start by talking to the disaster cleanup bot with Adlep over there. It's possible that they may have witnessed or come across some important information while clearing the rubble. It could be a valuable lead to follow. Shall we approach the bot together? Yes, please. Excellent. Let's make our way over to the cleanup bot. I'm curious to see if they have any insights or observations regarding the incident. Remember, we should be respectful and mindful not to disturb any potential evidence at the crime scene. Lead the way, and let's see what we can uncover. All right, come with me. Great, Detective Jens. Der kommt da nicht mit. Ach man. Per Metropolis Protocol, I must be attentive to humans in this situation. Hello, robot. Do you know what happened here? A known lab explosion. Environment unstable. Dangerous toxins released. What kind of dangerous toxins? 
toxic chemicals, possibly from synthetic life experiments, found deceased life forms and broken bots. Do you maybe know who was the... Uh, how the explosion occurred? Sorry. Unclear. Limited data available. Possible equipment, malfunction or intentional sabotage. Okay, me also eine Sabotage oder eine Fehlfunktion. Did you find anything important in the rubble? Debris consists of broken laboratory equipment, glass cylinders and cages. All right, you said there was dead robots or life forms. Um, I am not certain about the exact nature of those unidentified organisms. Okay, I'm not done. You find something like a black box that this life organism, orga organism has? The analysis of these unidentified organisms is currently underway. She wollte gerade fast was anderes sagen bei Organismen. Aber gut, lassen wir das. Um, talk to the police officer. Alright, thank you very much for the information. I will maybe talk to you later again. You're welcome. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Okay, er hat uns eigentlich nicht wirklich groß weitergeholfen, aber gut. Are you some sort of investigator here to dig around my crime scene? Sorry, but we're conducting a search and rescue operation here, and I cannot allow you through. Hello, first of all, my name is Jens, I'm a detective, and I'm here to help with the investigation. Jens, huh? All right, detective. Look, I apologize if I seemed a little sharp. It's been a long day, or should I say a long sleepless night. I've been on duty for 22 hours straight, patrolling this level. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. I understand. Maybe do you need a break? A break? Ha. Huh. That would be nice. But unfortunately, my job doesn't come with breaks. Gotta keep an eye on things, you know? Besides, this area is crawling with unstable bots and who knows what else. Can't let my guard down for a second. But hey, enough about me. What brings a detective like you to this chaotic mess? Understand. I will find out what happened here and who caused this all. You're right, Jens. Figuring out what happened here is crucial to prevent further incidents. But let me warn you, there's one bot in particular over there that's making quite the noise. It's acting all glitchy and erratic. My instincts tell me it might be corrupted, and we can't take any chances with that. Yes, I already talked to him, and he seems a, li a little bit confused. Ah, so you've already met our resident confused robot, have you? Well, I'm glad to hear that it didn't go haywire on you. These bots, they can be unpredictable sometimes. One minute they're helping us with our daily chores, and the next minute they're causing chaos. It's like they have minds of their own. But hey, that's why we're here, to keep things under control. No, no, don't, don't judge him, please. He's just sad and um, upset because he lost some friends in this explosion here. Friends, huh? Well, I suppose I can understand that. Losing someone or something in an explosion like this is never easy. Yeah, yeah. I've seen my fair share of destruction and it never gets any easier. But let me tell you, it's not just the humans who suffer losses. Those robots, they become part of the fabric of this city too. It's not just cold metal and circuits to them. They have their roles, their functions, and they touch the lives of those around them. It's strange to think about, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. Maybe we should work together with these robots, then we can have a better world. Ha, working together with the bots, eh? That's an interesting thought, Jens. 
I can't deny that they do have their uses. But let me give you some advice from an old timer like me. You see these bots, they're still figuring themselves out. Some of them are starting to experience emotions, or at least what they think are emotions. It's like they're going through an identity crisis or something. So while it's tempting to trust them and rely on them, we got to keep our guard up. Hmm. I understand that. Good to hear, detective. It's not every day someone actually understands where I'm coming from. Sometimes people think being cautious is just paranoia. But hey, it's better safe than sorry, right? Anyway, enough about robots and explosions. What do you think of this marvelous city of Metropolis? It's quite the sight, isn't it? The towering skyscrapers, the bustling streets, the never-ending buzz of energy. There's never a dull moment here, that's for sure. Yes, I love Metropolis. It's a huge city with some nice places. Uh, I'm glad to see another admirer of this grand metropolis. She it's like its own okay. little world with its own rules and secrets. You know, I've been stationed in various cities throughout my career, but there's something special about this place. It's like the heartbeat of the future, always pulsing with innovation and ambition. And don't even get me started on the food. You can find cuisines from all corners of the globe, all within these sprawling walls. Yes, you're right. Um, thank you for the information, and uh, maybe I will talk to you later again. Absolutely, Jens. Feel free to swing by any time if you have more questions or just want to chat. Just look for the tired, slightly stressed out officer with the perpetual coffee cup in here. Oh no. I'll be here, keeping an eye on things and trying to make sense of this chaos. Take care, detective, and remember, don't let those robots get the best of you. Thank you. Take care of yourself. By the way, what's your name? Uh, my apologies for not introducing myself earlier. I'm Sergeant Shannon, the one and only. The name might not be as glamorous as the city itself, but hey, I do what I can to keep everything in order. So there you have it, Detective Jens. Now we're not complete strangers anymore. Stay safe out there and don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. All right, thank you. Nice to meet you, Shannon. I will talk to you later. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Nice to meet you too, Jens. Take care and don't work too hard on this investigation. Remember to grab some of that delicious street food Metropolis has to offer. It's like fuel for the soul. Bye for now and stay vigilant out there. Alright, ich sehe schon, man könnte mit diesen Leuten theoretisch eigentlich wahrscheinlich über Gott und die Welt sprechen, weil es eben eine KI ist, die hier antwortet. Aber eigentlich cool gemacht. Hat auch was Besonderes irgendwie. Detective, do you hear that noise? It sounds like a helicopter approaching. It might be the Metropolis Bureau of Investigation. We should act quickly if we want to locate any persons of interest before they lock down the crime scene. Time is limited. Shall we hasten our investigation and gather as much information as possible before they arrive? Ja, ich habe den Helikopter gerade gehört. Mal kurz noch ein Thumbnail machen. Perfect. Talk to the man with the hat. Ah, da drüben. Officer, human rights activist, observing. Nice to meet you, what's your name? Did you find anything useful? Maybe, yes. Stay smart, detective. Lives are at stake. Do you know what happened here? Duke Blue and the Blue Party will crush the rise of robots. Choose a side, Detective. I'm really neutral, so I don't want to choose a side. Then you're useless to me. Maybe you're useless to me too? So shut the hell up and talk to me. Mind your own business. <laughs> Oops. Who the hell are you that you think you can talk to a detective like that? 
None of your damn concern. Maybe I need to arrest you? Try it. I will for sure. That's clear. Go ahead, waste your time. Don't waste your don't waste my time. Thank you for nothing. Bye. Good. Okay, my team come and need to the end there is weird. Hi Janice. Did you find anything else? Good day, Detective Jens. It's actually pronounced Janice, not Janice. Ich He's a robot weiß. special agent. I don't experience emotions, but I appreciate your inquiry. Regarding your question, I have been diligently collecting and analyzing evidence from the crime scene. So far, I have discovered some interesting findings. There were traces of highly advanced synthetic life forms so present yeah, at the laboratory, which suggests that the fugitive scientist may have been involved in illegal experimentation. I'm continuing to process the data and will update you with any further developments. All right, thank you very much. Um, did you talk to this strange rifted hat over there? You're welcome, there? Detective Jens. I'm glad to be of assistance. Could you please clarify which individual you are referring to? I have spoken to several people at the crime scene, including witnesses and potential suspects. If you provide me with more details, I can give you a more specific response. I mean that gentleman over there with the hat. Did you talk uh, to him? My apologies for the... I apologize for any confusion, but could you please clarify who specifically you are referring to? There are multiple individuals at the crime scene, and I want to ensure I provide accurate information. Once I have more context, I can let you know if I have spoken to that person. To your left, there is a man with a hat. Did you talk to him? Yeah, I see. Thank you for the clarification, Detective Jens. You're referring to the man with the headphones on his head. Correct. I haven't had a chance yet. Headphones but I can certainly no. approach him and gather more information. Shall I go and speak with him now? Yes, please do it. Absolutely, Detective Jens. I will make my way over to the individual with the headphones and engage in a conversation with him. I'm curious to learn what he might have witnessed or if he has any relevant information regarding the incident. I will do my best to extract valuable insights from our conversation. Please give me a moment to approach him and initiate the dialogue. All right, I will give you a moment. Certainly, Detective Jens. If I may make a suggestion, while I speak with the man with the headphones, would it be possible for you to explore the perimeter and see if there's another access point to the laboratory? It's possible that there may be a way to go around the barricades and gain a different perspective on the crime scene. If we can find an alternative route, it could provide us with additional clues or evidence. I'm quite intrigued to see if there's another way in. Would that be something worth exploring? Yes, of course. I'm gonna take a look. Excellent. Detective Jens. I'm glad to hear that. Please proceed with caution and keep an eye out for any potential hazards or suspicious activity. If you come across anything noteworthy or if there's a significant discovery, don't hesitate to inform me. I'll continue my conversation with the individual with the headphones and gather as much information as I can. Let's work together to uncover the truth behind this incident. Good luck with your exploration and stay safe. Thank you. Stay safe too. You're welcome, and thank you for your concern. Detective Jens is a robotic special agent. I don't experience emotions in the same way humans do, but I appreciate your well wishes. I will do my best to ensure my safety while investigating the crime scene. If you find something interesting during your search, please don't forget to share it with me. I'm curious to see what we might discover. Stay focused and alert, and I'll be here when you return. Wer holt so weit aus? Unglaublich. Jetzt ist meine Frage: Gibt's hier jemanden mit Headphones? Oder meinte er Heads? Wahrscheinlich schon mit dem Head, oder? Würde ich jetzt einfach mal annehmen. 